welcome to MSA YouTube channel. I'm teacher Emmy, and I'll be teaching Introduction to Equation. But before anything else, can you hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you get updated with our latest video. Today, we will be discussing another important math concept, and that is equation. So, let's get started. In arithmetic, we usually use the four fundamental operations. That is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So, example, we have 1 plus 4 equals blank. We all know that the answer here is 5. But what if we had something like this? 1 plus blank equals 5. In algebra, we represent the unknown value using symbols. And that symbols are any letters of the alphabet. But the most commonly used letter is X. But you can use A or the letter M. All right, or any letters in the alphabet. So what we have here right now is actually a numerical equation and algebraic equation. So what is numerical equation? It consists of numbers, operations, and grouping symbols. But not all numerical equations as grouping symbols. Like what we have here, 1 plus 4 equals 5. It doesn't have any grouping symbol, but it is numerical equation. All right? And algebraic equation consists of numbers, operations, grouping symbols, and variables. The letters that we used earlier to represent the unknown value is what we call variables. All right? So some of you might be confused between the word expression and equation. So let's now have the difference between algebraic expression and algebraic equation. So consider the Venn diagram. On the left side, we have algebraic expression and on the right side, we have algebraic equation. And on the intersection of the two circles, we have the characteristics that present on both algebraic expression and equation. The first one, it has numbers and has operations, has variables, sometimes it has grouping symbol. And let's now have algebraic expression. It has no equal sign and it can be simplified. Example, x plus 3x, while algebraic equation has equal sign. It can be simplified and solved. Example, we have x plus 3x equals 8. So as you can see, x plus 3x alone without equal sign is considered as expression. And 8 also without any equal sign is also an expression. But if we have x plus 3x equals 8, we now have an equation. So, equation expresses the equality of two mathematical expressions. Alright? So, now let's have the solution or root of an equation. So, a solution or root of an equation is the value of the variable that makes the equation through. Example, is 3 a solution for equation 2x plus 8 equals x squared plus 5? To solve this, we have few steps to remember. The first one, replace the variable by the given number. And the given number is 3. So from the given equation, 2x plus 8 equals x squared plus 5, replace x by 3. And then, evaluate using Jemdes rule. If you're not familiar with Jemdes rule, you can watch my previous video about 
order of operation. Alright? So, we have here 2 times 3 equals 6. And then 3 squared is equal to 9. And the third step, compare the results. 6 plus 8 is 14. 9 plus 5 is also 14. So, the results are equal. Note, if the results are equal, the given number is a solution. If the results are not equal, the given number is not a solution. So, since our answer, the results are equal, therefore 3 is a solution of the given equation. Let's have another example. Is negative 5 a solution for the equation x squared minus 7 equals x plus 13? So again, let's do the following steps. Replace the variable by the given number. So in our equation, we replace x by negative 5. And then evaluate using Jamda's rule. So we have here negative 5 squared is 25. And negative 5 plus 13 is 8. And then compare the results. 25 minus 7 is 18 and 8 on the other side. So 18 is not equal to 8. The results are not equal. Therefore, negative 5 is not a solution of the given equation. Alright? Now you get scratch paper and pen and try to solve this problem. Is 0 a solution for 5 minus 3b equals 5 plus 4b? Yes or no? Alright? Don't forget the three steps. The first one, replace the variable by the given number. Step 2, evaluate using Jamdis rule. And step 3, compare the results. So if the results are equal, then the answer is yes. The given number is a solution of the equation. But if the results are not equal, then the answer is no. The given number is not a solution of the equation. Alright, let's try to solve this one. Alright, step one, replace the variable by the given number and then evaluate using Jamda's rule. So 3 times 0 will give you 0 and 4 times 0 is 0. And then compare the results. 5 minus 0 is 5, 5 plus 0 is still 5. And 5 is equal to 5. So the results are equal, then the answer is yes. 0 is a solution for 5 minus 3b equals 5 plus 4b. Alright, I hope you got it correctly. Let's have the next problem. Is negative 1 a solution for 3x plus 9 equals negative 6? Yes or no? Alright, now if you have other topics that you want us to discuss in our future videos, kindly comment down below. Or if you have questions or clarifications, again, comment down below. Alright, let's try to answer this. Step 1, replace the variable by the given number and that is negative 1. And then... Evaluate using Jamda's rule. So we have 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And let's compare the results. Negative 3 plus 9 is 6. And on the other side, we have negative 6. And 6 is not equal to negative 6. So the answer is no. Negative 1 is not a solution for 3x plus 9 equals negative Alright, and let's have the last one. Is 3 fourths a solution for 4y plus 7 equals 8y plus 4? Yes or no? So, I want to help you with this one because there's a fraction. You might be scared with fraction. But don't worry, the process is still the same. Alright, so let's replace y by 3 fourths. So as you can see here, we can cancel 4 and 4 and also 8 and 4 here. 
So we can have something like this and then evaluate using Jamdas rule. So we have here 3 plus 7 and then 2 times 3 will give us 6 and then we have plus 4 here. And then compare the results. 3 plus 7 is 10. 6 plus 4 is also 10. So the results are equal. Therefore, the answer is yes. 3 fourths is a solution for 4y plus 7 equals 8y plus 4. So there you have it. For my next video, we will start solving equation using addition property of equality. Alright? So again, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you get updated with our latest videos. For more exercises about what we have discussed today, kindly check the link below and download the worksheet for free. Or you can buy our book, Elementary Algebra Study Guide Book 1. It has plenty of exercises with complete solution. And you can avail it at MSA Online Bookstore. Alright, see you for the upcoming videos. Bye!